Chen. I'm from group three and my teammate is Guo Kung. We've made a new project for the contest. It is named XGen, which is the next generation. This project is made for everyone, so we can all do it. With this project, I want to show you and children from all regions, nations, everywhere about a new route of becoming a smart and happy person. As you can see in the project, we have made a university and made a name for it, which is Hal Rocky University. It is named after our two English names. You can see it in our intro animation also. We have made this project for all children to experience new knowledges. We use quizzes like IQ education, EQ education, and IT related quizzes. And we do believe that these three factors are very important for kids to build a new generation. As I've said before, IQ, EQ, and IT related questions, which are all three things that students very need to make a new and better generation. Talking about making newer generations, we want to say that we've used this theme similar to a sunrise's shade. A sunrise starts a fresh and new day. It is similar to kids starting a newer generation. In the projects, the characters' clothing have a meaning. Their green t-shirts represent the tree's green leaves. Their shirt, skirts, and pants, which are blue, represent oceans. And the sprout on their head is talking about go green style. And their shoes represent soil, which is the ground. And the little letter X Gen on their shirt is the game name. All this information above are in summary or for our game. Now we'll try to start our game and see what it's like. Now let's start the game. This is the beginning part, which is the animation. Hi. This game is special because we both Hi. made an animation and Tomorrow a game. Tomorrow is the time for test of Hey Rocky University. These voices are recorded yes, by I us. Also, this university is very famous, and it's one of the world's best universities. And we edited a little, so it sounds a little higher, like cartoons. I'm a little worried. I don't know if I can answer the questions of Hey Rocky University. Hmm. Is there any way to learn and practice questions at Haley Rocky University? Hmm. Oh, I know. We will use XGN app to practice questions. Great, let's go. And then they walk into the school and then we start the game. And the game loads here. Now, as you can see, here is the sunrise background, which is the sunrise starting a new fresh day. Now all you need here is to click the character to choose your favorite player. And then after you choose, there will be a red bar around and a button called play. We'll click on it to start the game. This is stage one, EQ test. As you can see, this is a background of mountainous place. I wanted to invite some students so far away in remote places and far away from mountainous places to come here and join a route, which is the maze, a way to find a path. And this path has hearts. The hearts are expressions to let students experience with more and more feeling, different feeling and what is correct for them to be. Now we'll use the buttons to go and we need to touch the heart to start a new question. Now I'm going to go to this heart first. It will ask as a question. The character will become bigger and the maze map disappears. The buttons for you to choose the correct answer and the choices appear in here. And the character will ask you the question and this question asks, how do you express calmness and kindness to others? 
After the sentence was the English version, there will be a Vietnamese translation for students who don't know so they can understand the chorus question and what it is about. These, these choices A, B, C, and D. You will need to there are the choices and you will need to click on it to choose the answer. For me, the first answer here is A. And we got a correct answer. There will be a sound of winning and our points will increase. Now we'll continue moving to another heart. Start another question. Look at this. Now this question says, what do you do when you get stuck or in trouble without people's help? As you can see, the maze map disappears again and the buttons show. Now the answer for me here is D. We have another correct answer and of course will continue to increase. There's no limit of increasing points. Now we'll go up to another heart. I think you may be curious about what happens when you answer the question wrong. Let's see, this says what affects others more, looks or personality. For example, if I don't know about this question or it's too hard, I may choose and see if it's lucky. But what if we're not? Let's see if I choose A. Oh, looks like it's the wrong answer. So the red light flashes here and our points decrease. And it's okay if you ha still have some hearts left because you can always increase and recover the points again by answering the other questions. What resembles a person with high EQ? Let's see, is that person grumpy, sad, overprotective, or positive? It's C. And that's the correct answer again. I've got more points from 15 to 30. Now the last heart will move here. How do you make yourself and others happy? Hmm, this question seems easy. I'll choose B and I have another correct answer. My points will increase to 45 points. As I said, we can recover it and have even more. So after this question, it's the end of stage one and this part is stage two. Later, we'll experience it with, with my teammate, Guo Heng. Hello everyone, my name is Guo Heng. My nickname is Rocky. Welcome to Haile Rocky University. Now I start my part. Let's see our content. First, introduction. Welcome to our game. Second, important of these subjects. Why did our team choose these subjects? And third, game. Please take a look at our game. First, introduction. Whoa! We made this game in order to encourage education. Do you know that Steve Jobs said, learn continually. There is always one more thing to learn. That means we need to continue to learn, never stop learning. And second, importance of these subjects. Why did our team choose these subjects? First, we choose EQ. EQ helps us understand with others, such as when we need some help. They can also allow us to act quickly in serious situations. That is IQ. IQ shows our intelligence. And there are some IQ questions that makes us become smart. Next is science. Science is essential to develop new technology, solve practical problems. Social studies help us know better 
about things around us and understand the natural world around us. And we can quickly get used to everyone. And last but not least, IT. IT is information technology. IT helps deal with daily dynamic things. IT is very important for us to make our country a better country. That is why we choose these subjects. Next is our game. Let's take a look at our game. First, what is this game? This game is fun and good for learning. Second, just enjoy this learning game. Okay, so as you can see, this is my IQ part. Well, so it will ask how many colors does a rainbow have? So if I click on A, seven colors. If it's correct, it will say correct. And it will make the sounds of winning. Next, like water go up in the sky by the sun. What is this process called? For example, if I don't know these questions, what will happen? Let me see a collection. Oh no, I am wrong. The sound will go and my IQ will go down. Which words in the dictionary is always spelled incorrectly. I think it's incorrectly. And alright, that was a correct answer. What goes up and down but still remains in the same place? Well, this is an IQ question, which means we need to be smart. So, things that go up and down is the temperature. Because when the temperature goes up and down, it's actually the temperature is still in the correct in its place. And last about the social studies. What is the capital city of Sweden? Hmm, the capital city of Sweden. Hmm, I know that this thing is not, not. I think it will be Stockholm. And I have a correct answer. Hey boys, we'll be rising up! Then that's all questions about social science and IQ. Okay. So, I hope you will enjoy this learning game. And that's all! That is all about my games. And I hope you enjoy my game, enjoy my speech, and hope my team will get a chance to win. So in the first part, I talked to you about EQ education. In the second part, we'll come talk to you about IQ intelligence. That seemed to be enough for children to build a new generation already. But the world has to keep up and we have to keep up with them. And that includes IT and science, the two most important components for them to keep up together and equally. Now we'll start stage three, which is about science and IT related questions. It is about coding test. Now this question is asking you about when was the first computer invented? And well, before I talk about that, the corrector is standing in a laboratory, which all it also relates to two things, which are IT related and also especially it's a lot related to science because laboratory it especially designs for science and it's, it's designed for science experiments so he is standing here and asking you questions to see if you can answer them now as I said he asked when was the first computer invented these questions here seem a little bit hard for beginners but we can answer and see if we're lucky or not the answer here is a i think it is a because i've answered the wrong answer and then click the correct answer again 
we lose points and then increase again. We still have a chance to increase if you're quick enough. Now he's asking, what is the name of the first automatic electronic digital, digital computer? The choices here are pretty funny. Apple, ABC, Virus, and Brain. What do you think is the most logical thing here? is known as the father of computers. The correct answer here has, has main related to something a little bit funny. Charles Babbage. It is cor the correct answer also. Choices here are, are funny because Babbage is a little bit related to garbage and some funny things. Now let's move to the next question here. How many generations of computers have been invented? Let's see, these answers are not so big. And that is also true. Correct answer is... Wait. It's 10. What was the first mass product produced computer? Now we can choose between these choices. The questions here are pretty hard for some who haven't learned so much about history and a little of science and technology. V seems to be also a little bit related to history also. What should I choose here? After I'll answer the last question, the screen appears, which is the Hallerocky University, and here is our final score, minus 30. What about yours? You can tell us in the comment section. Also, don't worry if you have a low score because our school welcomes everyone. We can improve your skills and knowledge, and this is just a first try. You only need to desire, we'll all welcome you, and yes, good luck. Goodbye! See you again at Haley Rocky University! Thanks for watching!